Always be yourself, that is where you will find yourself That is the key to the door For happiness and more Always put your faith in your Lord, He will keep you safe Don't ever feel no fear He'll always be right here Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Welcome dear viewers from around the world joining us on our brand new series Live Your Life now, this is a unique series that I'm going to be a presenter for this, and my name is Junaid Da. Dear viewers, in this very unique program, we're going to be taking a journey collectively, looking at certain concepts, looking at certain verses from the Quran, and trying to dissect them in the most basic but yet most comprehensive manner. So much so that these lessons become practical, and that the Quran becomes part and parcel of our lives. In our discussion today, we're going to be looking at the topic of tafakkur, which is rooting from the words of understanding or even thinking. But before we go into this particular topic, let us introduce to you our Sheikh, our guest for the program, and then we can go into the contents of our questions. If I can turn to the Sheikh we have with us in the studio, Dr. Saeed Al Qadi, who carries a master's in Sharia and also has a PhD in education. Uh, Sheikh, I'd like to begin by giving you a very warm welcome Thank and saying Allah. assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum salam, barakallahu alaykum, shagunayn, may Allah bless you and reward you. My pleasure. Okay. Uh, Sheikh, before we get into the topic mm -hmm. of tafakkur, I've got a question for you. Okay. Um, why did you call this program Live Your Life? MashaAllah, jazakallah khair. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. All praise you to Allah alone. We praise Him, thank Him, seek His guidance and His forgiveness. We repent to Him. We seek refuge in Allah from the evil of our souls and our sinful deeds. Whoever Allah guides, none can mislead. And whoever Allah misleads, none can guide. Well, uh, the reason behind uh, calling this program, Live Your Life, it was a collective uh, opinion okay. uh, with the producer as well. May Allah bless him and reward him. Mm. But it was actually derived from a verse of the Quran in which Allah Ta'ala said, أَوَمَنْ كَانَ مَيْتًا فَأَحْيَيْنَا وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُ نُورًا يَمْشِي بِهِ فِي النَّاسِ كَمَنْ مَثَلُهُ فِي الظُّلُمَاتِ لَيْسَ بِخَارِجٍ مِّنْهَا is the one who was dead. And we gave him life. Through what? Through Allah's revelation. وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُ نُورًا يَمْشِي بِهِ فِي النَّاسِ And we gave him a light with which he can walk among people. Subhanallah ta'ala. Okay. This revelation, this Quran, this direction that we have, this spirit that we have, it will give us a light. It will make us alive. Okay. Subhanallah. And that's why Allah ta'ala in the Quran said, وَكَذَلِكَ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ رُوحًا مِّنْ أَمْرِنَا And thus we have inspired to you a, an, or an inspiration from our command. An inspiration from our command. مَا كُنْتَ تَدْرِي مَا الْكِتَابُ وَلَا الْإِيمَانِ You had no knowledge of the book or the faith. وَلَكِنْ جَعَلْنَاهُ نُورًا نَهْدِي بِهِ مَنْ نَشَاءُ مِنْ عِبَادِنَا But we made it a light with which we guide whom we want from our servants. Okay. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. So this Qur'an will make us alive. This Qur'an will enable us to live another life. Subhanallah. A life, if we don't live it, we won't attain happiness. We won't understand the purpose of our, of our creation. The, the reason why Allah Ta'ala brought us into existence. Okay, very nice. So it's mm. almost like in order for us to taste uh, the sweetness of the hereafter, the akhirah, we mm. must taste a little bit of that sweetness in this world as well. Exactly. No, no. Okay. But you, actually, you're going to be you're going to be in the sight of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala alive. And if you do, if you neglect the Quran, if you neglect the Book of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, Allah's revelation, if you neglect it, you are in the sight of Allah Ta'ala dead. Subhanallah. Oh, man, can I He was dead. And we gave him life through the Quran. Okay. Subhanallah ta'ala. Excellent. Uh, mm. Sheikh, so our concept for today, which is mm. mentioned very often in the Quran, uh, in Arabic is at tafakkur Can I ask you to give us an English translation or understanding of that word? Zakallah khair, you mentioned it, Junaid, may Allah bless you. At the beginning, said tafakkur it is to understand. Uh, it is derived from the, uh, from the word 
akara in Arabic, which is mean to deeply think, to deeply reflect, to uh, contemplate, to meditate, to um, uh, reflect a lot. Okay, uh, it all, it all, it all, it all, it all, all these meanings uh, they, 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 they denote to the word tafakkur. Okay, very nice. Yeah. And uh, Sheikh, uh, can you think of any examples of the word tafakkur being any verse in the Quran? In the Quran, in many verses, subhanAllah Ta'ala, okay. use this term, this Quranic term is mentioned in many uh, chapters of the Quran. But I will mention one of them in which Allah Ta'ala spoke about his guidance, okay. uh, the Quran, and why people are not uh, uh, making reflection upon it or making tafakkur on it so it can give them guidance. Allah Ta'ala in the Quran said, قُلْ لَا أَقُولُ لَكُمْ عِنْدِي خَزَائِنُ اللَّهِ Oh, Muhammad, tell them that you don't have the treasures of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala. All right. وَلَا أَعْلَمُ الْغَيْبِ And I don't know the unseen. وَلَا أَقُولُ لَكُمْ إِنِّي مَلَكِ And I don't tell you that, or don't claim that, that I'm an angel. Right. I'm a human being. إِنْ أَتَّبِعُ إِلَّا مَا يُوحَى إِلَيْهِ I only follow that which has been inspired to me. Sure. Was being revealed to me. I follow Allah's revelation. Okay. Then he made a very important statement. قُلْ هَلْ يَسْتَوِ الْأَعْمَى وَالْبَصِيرِ Is the one who can see like the one who is blind. SubhanAllah. Through Allah's revelation, I can see. Through Allah's revelation, I can get direction. Through Allah's revelation, I can know my way in this life. Can't you ponder and reflect? SubhanAllah. Because without Allah's revelation, I won't be able to know my way. I won't be able to know what will bring me closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What will bring to my life happiness. What will give me tranquility. What will give me rest and peace. Okay, and Shaykh, looking at that verse that you've just mentioned, uh, the difference between the one who can see and the one who is blind, uh, am I fair to say the difference between them is the one who does tafakkur? This is what differentiates the two. Exactly, mashallah, <laughs> very good conclusion. Exactly, a person who reads the Quran without reflecting upon it, without uh, deeply thinking uh, on it, uh, he won't be able to understand the message behind it. Subhanallah, and that's why we have in the sound hadith, how many reciter of the Quran and the Quran is cursing him Subhanallah. because the Quran is admonishing him and is warning him not to recite it without contemplating without reflection without thinking and he still read the Quran and just think about how he finished the surah or the chapter without taking any of Allah's commands or Allah's uh, obligations into, into practice okay Subhanallah Subhanallah Shaykh well, you know many times even in our daily lives when we're in uh, Taraweeh Many of us, we will just read and, uh, you know, walk out of the prayer with not much tafakkur. Allah musta'an. And that's why uh, the Quran, it could be a, a, a hujja, uh, contention, or it could be a, 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 like um, a condition for you or against you. And this life, or the, I mean, the, the, the hereafter, Allah Ta'ala said to you, well, my revelation were, was revealed to you, but you disregarded them. Okay. وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكًا Whoever turned away from my revelation. You might have cited it, or you've read it, but you never took it into implementation. Okay. Okay? So you will have a hardship life. You will have a life of difficulty, a life of uh, hardship. SubhanAllah. And in the hereafter, of course, we'll be punished. Okay. Yeah. Sheikh, you know, many times people will say that our religion is all about believing and believing and we don't think. But it's surprising now that we find so many times Allah is telling you to think and then you'll be convinced. Um, is there anywhere in the Qur in Quran where Allah talks about the creation and talks about uh, the mountains or the animals and the humans all thinking about Allah's existence? May Allah bless you. Zakallah. A very important point I just mentioned now, which is thinking about Allah's creation. Okay. And this is the difference between the fakkur and the dabbur. Right. The fakr is to contemplate, to think deeply on Allah's creation. Sure. The heaven, the earth, the planets, and the universe of Allah, the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala. The dabbur is to reflect upon the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the direction of Allah the Almighty. Okay. And you need both of them. And both of them, they will give you what we call basira. Very nice. Basira, which is a vision. You will know your way. You will have that inner peace. Okay. You will know the path that Allah Ta'ala wants you to take. It's like the street lights. Exactly. Telling you which they way are, to go. They are. They are. <laughs> <laughs> From both sides. From both sides. Both sides. <laughs> 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 Inshallah Ta'ala. Okay. So is there any particular verse in the Quran where Allah he, he talks about the creation of the mountains, the creation of the animals, <laughs> uh, and, and, and encouraging us to think? Jazakallah khair. It's in, in a verse in Surah Al-Imran. Okay. In which the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Woe unto the person who... Uh, who reads this verse without reflecting upon it. Mm. SubhanAllah. Uh, Allah Ta'ala in this verse said, In fi khalqi samawati wal ardi wa akhtila fi al-layli wa al-nahar wa akhtila fi al-layli wa al-nahar la ayatin li uli al-albab Indeed, in the creation of the heaven and the earth, and the alteration of the day and the night, there is a there is a sign or there is science for people who reflect. SubhanAllah. People who have hearts. Right. People who uh, ponder on Allah's creation. Okay. Very nice. And uh, uh, Shaykh, when we when we look at these verses, um, you know what surprises me is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he tells us about uh, uh, the mountains and the animals being given the responsibility of the Quran. But yet they're refusing. Subhanallah. Uh, but yet the man, be it out of his wisdom or be it out of his stupidity, but he accepts. The second is better. Allah Mustaan. Well, Allah Ta'ala in the Quran uh, in Surah Al Hashar said, Lo anzalna had al Quran ala jabal in raaitahu khashian mutsaddian. If you look, if you think about uh, the mountains, the first thing come to, uh, comes to your mind is that its height and that and that it is very uh, solid rocky stony and hard isn't it so Allah Ta'ala in the Quran is describing to us how the Quran or the revelation of Allah Ta'ala will affect the mountain okay that you perceive as something that is very high and hard and stony mm. Allah Ta'ala in the Quran said لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا. If we descend this Quran upon a mountain, you will see it خاشعا. خاشعا means humbled. Despite its height, it's humbled for Allah سبحانه وتعالى. خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله. And you will see it as well. Uh, splitting apart out of humbleness for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of fear from Allah the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is Allah's creation subhanAllah and Allah ta'ala said wa tilka al-amthal and these are the examples that we give to people wa tilka al-amthal nadribuha linnasi la'allahum yatafakkaroon and these are the examples that we give to people so they can reflect Subhanallah. Subhanallah. May Allah grant us reflection. I mean, upon I mean. his signs, upon his creation, and upon his revelation. Subhanallah. Uh, uh, Shaykh, it is very uh, uh, scary when you think about the mountains and the creation refusing to carry the uh, responsibility of Islam, the responsibility of the deen, but yet the human has taken it on board. How can you, Shaykh, encourage us as believers to really take this religion, this deen, seriously and reflect? The, the, the mountains have, uh, or the heavens as well and the earth, they refuse to take this amana out of fear from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they felt very humble, too humble to take this responsibility and this trust and this uh, revelation. While man accepted to take it, Allah al-Musta'an. However, what is the way forward? The way forward is for us to understand Allah's message. Okay. to understand Allah's revelation. Right. And once we understand it, that will enable us to act upon it. Okay. But without understanding, without reflection, without contemplating, without meditating, we won't understand it. Okay. Uh, w once we understand it, we'll be able to act upon it, and we'll be able to uh, please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through it. 
Okay, excellent. Uh, Sheikh, that brings us to the end of this particular Allah discussion Allah on the Allah topic Allah. of Tafakkur. And uh, I would like to thank you very much uh, for Allah. your Allah. beautiful recitation and reminding us of these beautiful verses in the Quran and our responsibility towards Allah. I'd like to thank you very much Allah. for that. Um, and also thank you by saying, Asalaamu uh, Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Asalaam. Barakallahu Alaikum. May Allah bless you everyone. Jazakallah Khair. Uh, dear viewers, we've come to the end of this particular episode where we looked at the topic of tafakkur, thinking deeply on the signs and the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just like the Sheikh said, the difference between the one that can see and the one who can't see. We're not talking about the physical being, we're talking about the heart here. The one who can see and cannot see is the one who does tafakkur, who sits back and thinks about the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our religion is not like those others where you just have to submit, but our religion is one where Allah encourages us to use our brain and to be convinced intellectually that this is the truth. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and we will see you on our next episode on our program, Live Your Life. So until then, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Always be yourself, that is where you will find yourself That is the key to the door For happiness and more Always put your faith in your Lord, He will keep you safe Don't ever feel no fear He'll always be right here Lai lai la la Always be yourself, that is where you will find yourself That is the key to the door For happiness and more